Hey plant gang, this fluffy beautiful conifer behind me is Cryptomeria japonica, the Japanese cedar. This is a very popular plant for the home garden in a variety of different ways because there's a lot of cultivars of it. You can really find a Cryptomeria japonica that really fits your site's needs from very kind of small ones to very large plants that can be used for screening and for hedging. Uh, now in the wild, this plant gets quite large. It's a, it's a very large pyramidal conifer. I'm next to a cultivar that's a little bit smaller than that. Uh, this is an evergreen, a gymnosperm, a plant that uh, stays with its foliage, its needles on uh, all through the year. Uh, one thing that makes this great for a screening plant is that it's, kind of, it's not a extremely fast growing tree, but it is a medium to fast growing tree. And it can be used for privacy uh, to uh, block off areas that you don't want to see. Maybe your neighbor got a hot tub. You don't want them to, you don't want to see your neighbor's hot tub anymore. Uh, you know, a cryptum area like this one that I've got behind me might be the ticket. Uh, there is cultivar like Globosa Nana, which means that it's round and like a globe. And that one's a little bit smaller. Uh, there's smaller pyramidal ones like the one that's behind me. So seek out Cryptomeria japonica. A lot of different things you can know about this plant. Evergreen conifer for the home landscape. Cryptomeria japonica, the Japanese cedar. Now the, the full specimen of this plant in the wild can get up to 100 foot high. Uh, but typically the straight, straight species for us in the eastern United States gets 50 to 60 foot high, spreading out 20 to 30 foot wide pyramidal or conical with wide spreading habit. It's hardy from a, a soft zone 5, uh, 6 through 8 is really where it thrives. Uh, there are a few problems that it can get, leaf spots, uh, but usually trouble free or ne needles, needle spots, uh, some different kind of fungal things that can get on the, on the needles of the tree. Many cultivars with different sizes and forms and even colors. There are, there are golden forms of this plant. There's ones with congested foliage that are quite nice. The bark is reddish brown and, and kind of has an exfoliating, peeling nature to it. And here's a landscape tip. This stately evergreen has great texture and a lovely contrast of colors between the reddish brown bark and the dark green foliage allow plenty of overhead room to grow.